Yo, what's up, ATWD TV? Um, it's almost 11.30. Um, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to eat some ice cream. But I did want to give you guys um, a short, um, I guess, review on Baggage Claim. Baggage Claim was really good. For some reason, it kind of reminded me of um, Bridesmaid in the sense that you really didn't know that the movie was going to be so much um, centered around one character, which was um, Paula Patton. And um, she, I love her dittiness, her wittiness. I don't know, it, it was really good. And I love um, the white boy part, which it was like the supporting character. And Jill Scott's role was pretty good too. The movie itself was really good. But the message, it was like one of them, it's almost like going to church. And um, you hear the word, it seemed like straight from glory. And it was just what I needed. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, <laughs> See, my stuff is always happening to me, but um, you know, I had kicked it with um, this person, and it seems to me like they was just at my house the other day. However, they didn't remember how to get to my house, and it seemed like every question they asked—well, not every question they asked when I asked them—I'm like, "Do you? Did you know he was coming to?" It was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Oh, so you didn't remember where I stay?" You stay down the street. I thought that was kind of strange. And then <clears throat> they go ask me. Um, um, really, they didn't ask me no questions, which was a big turn off. I was, we was just riding in the car. And it's just, I hate that. you like, how you don't have no etiquette? How can somebody even get in your car? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting in their car, and they ain't really no type of conversation. And when things like that happen, and I, I almost got to the point I said, like, please just take me back home. But I was like, we already here. And it's just, I want to see this movie, honestly and truly. And it's too late. I really didn't do too much back and forth. And, you know, people, people have to make you feel comfortable. And I really wasn't in my comfort zone. And obviously this person was like, I, I, I really wasn't paying attention to them. I was paying attention to the movie. But from my peripheral, I felt like um, he was asleep or whatever. And I don't know. He just... He said the movie was good, but I don't know how he knew he was asleep. But all beside the point was, the message in the movie is, sometimes we press so hard to try to find the right one, when the right one could be right in front of our eyes, but we have to wait. You understand what I'm saying? And sometimes it's just a matter of season and timing, you know what I'm saying? The timing gotta be right. Just because, you know, God said it's okay for you guys to get married and you guys were meant to me doesn't mean you're supposed to get married tomorrow and it's all gonna work out. You have to wait till it's your appointed time. And if that pertains to your marriage or your career or whatever, then, you know, that's what it's gonna be. But you have to wait, you have to put in work and stop looking and searching for everything, every opportunity that's that's given to you isn't for you. You have to go with what God tells you to do. Okay, you do this, Xavier. You don't do this. You don't need to go there. I don't need to perform at every venue to get attention or go to every gospel concert. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not the way to do it. The easiest way to do things is to do it God's way. So I highly recommend a movie. It got its point across. It had its funniest moments, but I definitely got the vision. Um, big ups to. Uh, David E. Tauber, his plays are really good. I'm discovering. I don't know if he had any more movies, but I shouldn't say this to throw shade, but I'm I, I'm glad it's not a Tyler Perry movie. You know what I'm saying? Like Tyler needs a break. But I'm glad that um, there are a lot of new black films coming out. I think it's very important for every community, every community to have its own voice. And um, I'm excited about the best man holiday. I believe it's called. I love Taraji. I think she's a phenomenal actress. Um, I love me some Nia Long. Now, I gotta go back and watch the movie because I feel like I haven't seen it in so long. But um, Baggage Claim um, had Ricky Smiley in it. It had Laura, um, I don't know what her last name is. Um, but it was a whole bunch of people in there. It was, it was funny. It, it, it was really good, the whole point. Go see it, highly recommend it. That's my review. I never really do movie reviews, but that's what it is. All the way driven. Wait your time.